And by correctly, I mean something that is flattering on my body. It doesn't make me look like a sack of potatoes. Also, if you guys have any suggestions as to pregnancy support bands, that would be awesome. You can just drop them down in the comments. <laughs> What's up tribe and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again. If you're new here, then my name is Mariah and I'm currently on a pregnancy journey for rainbow baby number one. In today's video, I am back for another bump date. You guys have been requesting bump dates over the last few weeks and I try to record them only when I have a culmination of things that have changed and or approximately four weeks at a time. But today we're gonna go over weeks 23 through 23. Before we get started, I'm just gonna say this at the beginning of the video because I have been getting a lot of questions, DMs, and comments on both here on YouTube and on Instagram about it, but a lot of people have been asking me about a virtual baby shower and also for the registry information. So if you guys are interested in me doing a virtual shower, then definitely let me know in the comments. I know some of you have already been kind of questioning me on that and letting me know, but if it's something that a number of you would like to do I am totally down to do it also my registry will be linked in the description and like I said it's just for those of you who have asked for it so please 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 in no way feel obligated to purchase anything for us I mean if you would like to we certainly would be grateful for it but I totally understand that these are financially difficult times for everyone I just want to make this point clear I am not asking or requesting for anyone to buy things for our baby it's just that a lot of people have been contacting me about a registry so clearly some of you are interested in it but I definitely don't want anyone feeling like they're obligated to do it especially if your financial situation has been greatly impacted by this pandemic I do not want anyone to go out of their way to get things however if you do choose to of course from the bottom of our hearts we would be immensely grateful for whatever you decide so like I said the registry will be linked in the description below and definitely let me know if you guys are interested in a virtual shower just so that Jeremy and I have more than enough time to get things put together so we've been keeping up with the videos nothing really changed in week 20. It was like everything that had happened in week 19 was still going on in week 20. But then in week 21 is where things got exciting. In week 21, at six days, on the sixth day, the last day of week 21 was the first time that I actually felt what I knew for sure was the start of movement. A lot of people related to butterflies, flutters, things of that nature. For me, to be honest with you, none of that stuff came to mind when I felt it. It more so just felt like, I don't know, a ripple. Like if you, if someone, you know, got flicked from the inside or flicked jello that's kind of how it felt and i was laying on i think my right side and i was like completely still and super relaxed which is why i think i actually like had the time to actually notice it then by week 22 the movements definitely became more distinct and i could feel everything going on in there from the inside but jeremy couldn't quite feel it on the outside yet and neither could i for that matter because things were still fairly light at that point but what i also noticed that is if i was to put my hand like flat on my stomach and kind of go like this a little bit like wait make a little bit of a waving motion that the baby would actually go ahead and respond to that and move so anytime I pretty much like get the least bit of anxiety or anything like that because I haven't necessarily felt the baby move or anything like that I usually literally put my palm flat on my stomach and then wiggle my fingers a little bit to apply just a tiny bit of pressure and usually within like two to three minutes I get something or some type of response back so that has been really cool also major update for week 22 chicken is now tolerable again so I know you guys know that I have been completely 
off meat for the most part. Yes, I still have things that contain meat, but usually I wind up picking around it and brushing it off to the side of my plate and things of that nature. But now chicken is more tolerable to where I can eat it as a part of my meal. We just had roasted chicken the other night and I don't enjoy it per se. I don't necessarily eat an abundance of it, but I am able to get some of it in, which has been nice. I'm still doing the Ensure. I just do the chocolate now though. The caramel one is one that's really nasty. And more recently, I've been eating more beans and more yogurt as well. Now I'm noticing that at week 23, the fatigue is starting to return, partially because I'm not sleeping well at night. I usually only sleep about four hours of actually restful or REM sleep. And I'm pretty sure that's contributing to me being a lot more tired and exhausted throughout the day. But I have noticed just a lot more waves of fatigue where I do feel the need to go lay down and take a nap. Also, the baby is super, super active now, which is really just an amazing feeling. And it definitely makes it way more real because it's not just this, I guess, foreign concept of I know there is a human in there. Now I can feel that human actually moving, which is just crazy and it's cool and it's like super freaky and like weird sometimes to feel the squirms. But now the movement is strong enough to where you can feel it from the outside. So every now and again, Jeremy will be able to actually catch it. Most of the time, by the time he either gets to my stomach or if he's just not already touching my stomach, the baby does not move for him. Him at all but he has been able to feel movement quite a few times I would say probably like five times at least so that's been really cool I think it definitely makes it even more real for him because that's nothing either of us have ever experienced before another thing in week 23 I'm sure you guys have noticed I have some spots on my face um, I've got like one right there I have some on my neck some over here and then some like up here. I'm getting a lot of my acne back. My acne is like returning in a full wave. I don't know why or if it's just because the weather is changing and my skin is responding by getting more oily now, but my acne definitely has flared up and it's not just like those whitehead kind of pimples. It's like kind of cystic and deeper acne and or like chin hair and ingrown chin hairs, which is like, really, really annoying. So now I'm gonna have to like kinda kick up my actual skin regimen and be more on top of it because my skin at this point, like I'm literally, as I'm talking here, I can feel the amount of oil that's like coming off of my skin and I've definitely cleansed my skin and moisturized my skin. So that's just something that I pretty much attribute to it being like a combination of hormones and the weather. Also, I've been getting um, more frequent headaches, it's never to the point where I really feel the need to take like a Tylenol or anything like that, but I have noticed that my headaches have kind of picked up and I'm not dehydrated because all I do is drink all day long. Like every single morning, Jeremy collects a number of bottles from the side of my bed <laughs> because I am constantly drinking things. So it's not that, it might be more so related to just the overall fatigue and me not getting restful nights sleeps. But like I said, it's not that bad, it's just that they're happening more frequently. Also, as I am getting larger around the midsection it's definitely more uncomfortable to sleep and I also noticed that my lower back is starting to hurt a lot so I'm hoping that in the next maybe month or so that I can potentially go and see a chiropractor because I've had back pain probably now for at least the last like five years, but I never really addressed it. I, you know, did practice yoga at some points and I was just like working out, but I do want to actually get in to see a chiropractor just to pretty much check on things. And I more than likely need some sort of adjustment, but I know that the more weight I gain, it's just going to get more uncomfortable. So I'm definitely looking forward to tackling that. Like I said, in the next month, hopefully if things start to open up around here. Also, so if you guys have any suggestions as to pregnancy support bands, that would be awesome. You can just drop them down in the comments. I'm looking for something that is really just going to support me overall, but not like the, um, I forget what the company name is, but I know they make those maternity shirts, 
that are like kind of like support bands or they have built-in support bands but I would like something that I can just wear underneath regular clothes. Speaking of clothes nothing in my closet really fits anymore. I have about three dresses that actually fit one pair of shorts and a bunch of leggings and tights like what I have on today. But these are like the thicker kind, so they're not gonna be really suitable for the summertime. So I have been trying to shop for some decent maternity clothes that are not like overly expensive. I haven't had the most luck. I'm now kind of moving towards Amazon. I've tried to look at stores like Forever 21, H&M, Target, Walmart, and Old Navy, but I'm not really finding things that are just fitting my body type correctly and by correctly I mean something that is flattering on my body and doesn't make me look like a sack of potatoes I'm also not one to spend like a large amount of money when it comes to clothes I'm more of like a frugal shopper when it comes to personal clothes for myself so I'm probably gonna wind up going on Amazon and just getting some staple pieces like some staple biker shorts that I can wear a few maternity t-shirt type of tops and and yeah I'll basically see what I can find but I I'm definitely at a point where my clothes do not fit anymore. The last symptom that has really been coming in full force is heartburn. It doesn't seem to matter like what I eat, heartburn definitely kicks up constantly. I have done the milk method of trying to get rid of heartburn. I eat like yogurts and things of that nature. Over the counters like Pepsi help very temporarily, like maybe for about an hour, but I can pretty much guarantee that every evening I'm gonna have heartburn for at least two to three hours and it does not matter what I eat. A lot of people also suggested lemonade. That's also something that does not work for me. I don't know why, but it just, none of the tricks are working for me. Another thing you guys often ask about are my cravings. I finally would say I can determine which side of those things my cravings are actually on. I feel like I don't even really have cravings or maybe they're just not strong cravings like other women have, but I definitely prefer foods that are more on the sweet side. So things like corn and peas, definitely lots of fruit, peaches, mangoes, apples. Uh, I do eat probably more dairy than I actually should between like yogurt, chocolate milk, ice cream, and pretty much any time I want a snack, it's always something that is on the sweet side. Really the only like salty-ish kind of snack that I've had is like pretzels, and it's more so because they're more a lot more bland than other foods. So if I need a snack just to kind of ease my stomach, I usually go for like rolled in gold pretzels. And I'm not really big on chips right now either. I have them occasionally, but it's not like a regular thing for me. I think I've had like cookies and cereal and stuff like that a lot more. So to answer your guys' questions about the cravings, I would say that I'm definitely more on like the sweet side of things. But what I've been eating hasn't actually changed that much over the course of this pregnancy i'm still eating pretty much the same things and because we still don't know the sex yet jeremy often jokes that he knows what we're having and he always says we're definitely having a vegetarian i've mainly been eating like pastas and beans and soups and things of that nature speaking of recent things i've have been eating rice bowls have been my latest i guess favorite type of food or like i guess dinner or meal that i've been able to put together so we usually do like brown brown rice and then do a number of other vegetables. I usually do brown rice, bell peppers, snow peas, a little bit of mango, maybe some jalapeno, some carrots. Avocado has been something that I really have been leaning in on lately. And once all that stuff is in the same bowl, I usually just throw a little bit of soy on top of it and it's just like, that is about my, I think my favorite meal right now. Cause to be honest with you, I have been eating so much salad throughout the course of this pregnancy that I am at this point very much sick of salad. I am sick of shrimp. I am sick of salmon. And I'm also at the point where I'm sick of pasta too. Cause those have been like my staple meals. So rice bowls have definitely been a good change for me and a good shift to get something going that my palate is a little bit more interested in. In other news on the medical side of things, I actually just recently 
recently picked up a new insurance provider. So now I have a military insurance along with one other insurance provider. So that opens up the door for me to have more options as far as my care is concerned up here in the New York state. And through Jeremy's connections with his job, I have actually been in contact with a new MFM. They have two MFMs within their overall practice. So currently I'm in the process of getting like my records transferred because I don't know if I'm quite transferring yet. I am definitely sticking with Walter Reed until I absolutely know that I like love this new practice. So what I'm gonna be doing is having my records sent to the new practice. I'm gonna go in for maybe one or two appointments just to really talk some things over, kind of feel out the providers there and what they're demeanor is there and what their go-tos are as far as their plan of action for labor and delivery and really just get a feel of how exactly they conduct themselves with their patients and if I honestly really really like the direction that things go in meaning I practically have to love the new doctor more than I love where I'm at right now I think we will definitely be making the switch but in any event I've already told that clinic that I am going to be starting some type of relationship with them just to have a backup in case of any emergency situations arising as we get closer to the end of our pregnancy and really just closer to the third trimester. Now it's a part of the video that most of you guys are absolutely waiting for and some of you guys frankly probably only click the videos to see this part of the video but the belly shot, the bump shot. So this is how my bump currently looks. It's getting a lot more round. I know I've got a ways to go but it's definitely getting more round crazy thing is i've only gained two pounds in the last like the last time i was weighed at the doctor's office i've only gained two pounds since then so i am only seven pounds up from my pre-pregnancy weight which is awesome because i definitely didn't want to you know for health purposes or health reasons gain an abundance of weight but yeah guys look i'm definitely getting closer and closer to the the cute bump stage. Well, that's all I have to share with you guys. Stick around for my next video because I am going to be doing a baby haul of all of the things that I have gotten for baby rain thus far. I have been collecting things over a period of time as well as I recently ordered some clothes and other things. So definitely make sure you keep an eye out for that video. If you like this video, make sure you give us a huge thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to join our tribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Ladies, you already know the drill. I am sending you all positive vibes. For those of you who are on your TTC journeys, I am sending you plenty of golden sticky baby dust. I am sending all of you lots and lots and lots and lots of love. I know these are hard times, so I'm definitely praying for all of us, no matter what your current struggle is, to just get through it and persevere. And I hope you all are having an amazing and wonderful week. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.